I just got something delivered. I'm really excited about it because I always get excited when I see the words B&H photo on the box. So let's cut this thing open and see what's inside. Okay, two things. And this is what I was hoping for. These are the lens extensions for a lens. And this is what I call the poor man's macro. And there's nothing about being poor. These things are awesome. I, I really enjoy what you can do with these lens extensions. So just watch this. So I bought one for a Sony mirrorless and another one for my full frame Nikon. And this one here, is for the Nikon. And let's open up the one that's for the Sony first. This one's for the Sony. And it's just such a simple thing. They're so inexpensive, but what they can do for you is absolutely amazing. So let's get this guy open. There it is. Take off the back, take off the front. And that's it. It's essentially a tube. So now if we take the lens off this mirrorless and then pop this on, oop, the other way around, looking for the, oh, there's the dot, there it is. And you'll notice that there are two separate barrel extensions here. Let's put the lens on now. So now the lens is on. Now I'm powering on the camera and let's take a look at just how close I can focus with this. Okay, believe it or not, I am now perfectly focused on the letters of this uh, Lysol wipes container. Like it's in absolute perfect focus. Let me take a picture here. So, there we go. Take a look at that. So look how perfectly focused that is. So let's try it again. I'm gonna focus in on these little red letters right here, just so you can see how close I can actually get. Here we go, and now focus, and there's the picture. And now let me review. Look at that amazingness, like it's perfectly clear. What this is really cool for is taking extreme close-ups of little bugs like bees, and uh, because you can get so close, it uh, allows you to have an image where the insect is going to be gigantic and it will absolutely fill the frame. So let me tell you just how this works. It's just so simple because all it's doing is it is extending the location of where the glass on the lens is and it's moving it further away from the, from the sensor that's on the camera. And so this is reducing the minimum focus distance for this particular camera and this and this particular lens. Now with this barrel extension, I can remove one of the barrel extensions at a time so that I could have it so it's kind of a, a little bit more of a happier medium. So it's not quite, doesn't have to be so close. Your, your subject doesn't have to be as close to the lens. So um, it gives you a little bit more flexibility so the lens doesn't have to be so incredibly close up because uh, it's pretty difficult to be able to get a photo of a bee when your lens is like half an inch away from the bee. It's going to fly away. Let's give the lens extension a try outside. So I photographed this tree and then I saw a small spider on a web. But whenever I got the lens close to the spider so I could photograph it, it moved away and it made it very difficult to get a sharp photo. Ultimately, I never got a sharp and in focus of this little spider. So I just removed the 16 millimeter wide extension and I replaced it with the narrower 10 millimeter. And so that means that I don't have to be as close with my camera in order to kind of get something in focus. And it just makes it easier for you as the photographer and click. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice. It's not gonna win any awards, but um, it's still really fun. And then I saw a bush that was covered with buzzing bees. Ooh, there's some bee action here. 
and they're never facing the right way when you want them. They obviously really like these blossoms and the bees are just going from one to another to another, but just laden with pollen. But they are moving around so fast. I need them to hold still. Don't they know what I want to do? It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Ooh. I thought I was going to get stung there. If you are waiting for a bee to land on a flower in a perfect pose for you, then you are going to be waiting for a very, very long time. It's way harder than it looks. Way harder, because these bees are just moving so fast. And uh, yeah, it, it's easier just to take photos of sunsets, I'm thinking. The only thing that makes sense with lens extensions is to use a tripod so that your camera is not moving and to be photographing subjects that are also not moving, such as flowers. There we go. Here are my final three pieces of advice. So number one, when you're using a lens extension, you want to be using a tripod because even one millimeter of movement closer or further away from the subject will result in an unfocused shot. And you really want something that's sharp. Uh, ideally, you want something that's not moving at all. Not like me trying to capture photos of the bees. It's just not going to work. And number two, you want to make sure that your camera is in manual focus and then set it to the minimum focus distance and then just slide your tripod either closer or further away from the subject until the subject comes into focus. And that's really the main thing is that you want to have a super sharp shot here. And my dog is growling. Patches, come here. He sees a dog down on the street. Now he's growling. Patches, here. Is this food? Here. Is this food? Is there food inside this camera? You tricked me. I'm leaving. I just want to go back and stare at that dog. So this is my recommendation for you. And by the way, you could help me out. If you really like this type of content, please do hit the subscribe button for this video. It's in the bottom corner of the video. It would help me out a lot because it tells YouTube that this is valuable content. So go get yourself a lens extension tube. It's a super cheap alternative to a macro lens. And I think you're really going to love it because you can just take these awesome macro style photos for super cheap and uh, make sure that your tripod can get nice and low to the ground like this one can, like that. And that way you can get really close to where, where your subject is. Happy shooting, everybody. See you in the next video.